Yes, the title is correct. Planet scale is stopping its free tier. Just look at this. They tweeted out an update from us and the the wording already doesn't sound right. There it sounds like there's some problem. And yeah, there is some problem. So if we click on this article, let's open it and let's read it and what's happening. So Planet Scale is committed to provide a reliable and sustainable platform for customers, not just in a short term, but forever. For this, we are prioritizing profitability. Planet Scale is an infrastructure company. Our service is mission critical and we value reliability over above all else. Reliability isn't just an uptime percentage on a, your status page. It means your business is self-sustaining. Every unprofitable company has a date in future where it could disappear. With an ever-changing world and economy, this is a situation fraught with risk. We have chosen to build a company that can last forever. This is why I made the decision to prioritize profitability for planet scale. As of today, planet scale can uh, project profitability after following key decisions to part ways with the member of our team, primarily sales and marketing. whatever <laughs> and sunsetting our hobby plan i would like to express my extreme gratitude for the people we are parting ways with today our hobby plan will be retired on april 8th 2024 by the way the hobby plan is the free tier of planet scale you can find more information about the planned applications such as exporting your data or upgrading in your hobby plan faq documentation I understand completely that retiring our free tier will cause inconvenience to some of our users. I hope that people understand that we take our mission incredibly seriously and this decision was not made lightly. If this puts you in a difficult situation, please email us and we will see what we can do to help you. Planet Scale is the main database for companies totaling more than 50 billion in mar market cap. Whether you count calories, uh, paid for your morning coffee, sent a work message, or bought a new pair of shoes, it is almost certain that you have interacted with our technology today. Planet Scale has been recognized by Deloitte as the most fastest growing tech companies in the US. Our, rel our reliability, scalability, and customer service speaks for itself. The database space is full of unnecessary hype. Uh, yeah, I do agree with that. <laughs> uh, we are opting out. Our technology is proving proven among some of the world's largest tech companies. We do not need to give away endless amounts of free resources in order to keep growing. I I, I don't know about that. Like, uh, you know that there's a ex like separate fan base for just free tier databases. Like, I don't know uh, about this one. To put it briefly, Planet Scale's commitment to reliability and sustainability drives every decision we make. Prioritizing profitability ensures that we can we can continue providing mission critical services to our users well into the future so yeah the, the article just specifically says uh, that the free tier is gone and this article is written by sam lambert who is the ceo of planet scale so let's go back to a tweet i want to share you the opinions from the community members like uh, the replies and stuff so is it just me or this is one of the most scholars layoff notices ever? just a brief mention of parting ways with team members not even mention of helping them land the jobs Remember when Hiroko did this? Yeah, I still remember when Hiroko died. I was like shocked at first and I was like, Hiroko is like the only place I ever deployed my application. And then yeah, new stuff came out. Like I started using render and stuff and it was pretty fun. And uh, this is an ad, let's just skip it. It's gonna be a busy 30 days for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the people who are using Planet Scale, they might need to uh, migrate. 30 days notice and you don't even email us to inform appallingly bad PR move. As of today, planet scale can project profitability after following key decision to part ways with when and sunsetting. Oh, oh, he just pasted it. Please tell me you guys aren't doing this. Moving to paid tier is completely understandable. But how about 39 per month compete with other cheaper offerings that aren't just a database? I understand a pricing change, but layoff uh, messaging is tone deaf. Yeah, so I mean, multiple people have a problem with that. Uh, will the free plan be replaced with a new paid plan or will the 39 per month will continue to be the cheapest plan available? Yeah, there's a lot of different comments here. Like I can't even go through all of them. But yeah, I think some people are pissed. Some people have questions. Some people are busy migrating. Uh, so yeah, I think that's that's with the planet scale situation. But uh, before we end the video, I want to show you a few uh, database hosting websites where you can actually host databases. 
and uh, you can uh, migrate from planet skill so if you're testing your applications and you need a database i think these websites are best uh, now that planet skill is shutting down so yeah let's move on to that part all right the first one is versal postgres versal postgres is a serverless sql database designed to integrate with versal some functions and your front end framework so you can either use the versal postgres sdk uh, which i i know many of you won't like to use uh, i don't know why but i think you you would rather use an orm uh, which you are already using with planet scale and you just want to migrate so i think you can just use a supported orm a prisma and drizzle is here i'm pretty sure majority of you are using any one of these three so it's pretty easy to migrate uh, it also said versal postgres is powered by partnership in neon this means uh, creating deleting managing postgres happens in versal dashboard you do not need to create a new neon account to use versal postgres so databases are being provided by neon but you can manage them in your versal dashboard that's what they are saying basically and if you go to the storage tab of your versal thing i am on the hobby plan so it's like a free one you can create uh, all of these things in a uh, free one so i'm going to create a postgres serverless sql you need to accept the terms of service i'm going to call it test database you can select the region uh, i think for me the singapore should be best one and i'm going to create it it's it's that easy now you can get started with this and stuff you have all of the stuff i'm probably going to delete this because i might have uh, exposed some data i, I would just want to be sure i'm just going to delete it so yeah let's move on to the next one all right the next one is superbase so all you need to do is go to database.new and it will open superbase and it will ask you to create a new project if you aren't logged in already it will ask you to log in so just do that i can name the project anything i can just say test project 123 or whatever enter a strong password uh yeah so i'm just going to type in my password all right now you can select a region i'm just going to select uh, anything like it it doesn't matter uh anything which is closer to your users i am the only user so i'm just going to use nearing to me which is southeast asia i think mumbai is better because yeah i live in india so i think that's better so yeah and now we can go ahead and create a new project i don't want to save the password now what you can do is you can go here and go to project settings and here you can go into a database and you can find your uh yeah it's all it's it's setting up the project right now so it will take some time i was a little confused confused why we are not getting the database credentials here so we will wait for this project to set up and we'll get back all right so in your database settings you will find this connection string you can just plug it into your orm thing and it will just start working it's in your it's like your postgres database and uh, yeah uh, you can simply like this is a free tier and i we ha i have heard like the uh, super base free tier is very generous So if we search for a super base data base free tier let's see what's the free tier pricing and fees let's go here and let's check the free tier it says 500 mb database space i'm pretty sure you will never reach that if you are just a testing person like you are not like building anything in production if you are building a production it's fair you need to pay for it but i think if you are testing if you are just a regular developer just trying to do his thing If you're making a hobby website, I think this is a very generous free tier. Apart from that, you could use something like Digital Oceans. So it shows fifteen per month. But what happens like when you verify your account, you enter your card details and verify your card, you actually get two hundred dollars in credits. They mention it on the website. I haven't done this personally myself, so I cannot show you a demo. But um, out of two hundred, I think it it's basically free. So you can have a free database for a few months. But uh, if you ask me, I would recommend. uh super base because i think it's i think it's the most generous free tier or like you could also go with versal like i don't know <laughs> just choose whatever feels right for you and just go for it so yeah that's it for this video i hope this video gave you some insights into what's uh, the situation and what's happening right now and i hope you also understood what are the great alternatives which you can use and which have a generous free tier so yeah If you like this video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button I also make a lot of web dev content on a weekly basis so make sure you don't miss out on that uh, so yeah that's it for this video I'll see you guys in the next one bye